Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at OpenRC2. Now in this video I'll be showing you a trick that was taught to, be, to me by uh, Manticore, uh, who is also the creator of the Peep Editor plugin. Now you may be able to see this uh, mechanic uh, hanging here on the side of this, uh, of this building. And yeah, this is actually quite a funny trick that you can do with that, uh, with that plugin. Now I'll provide a link to it in the video description, but you can get it from openrc2plugins.org. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, I'll just uh, start on a fresh uh, map. Uh, that way, it will be easier to show you how to do this. All right, uh, to start off, uh, I will just make a path here, and we'll put an entertainer on it. So not a mechanic, but an uh, entertainer. And um, we go in the peep editor, I select the entertainer, and I give him the lemonade costume. Now I, I will just uh, let him walk around for a bit. Um, what you need to do next is set up a hotkey. So uh, we go into the options and then on the cogwheel uh, icon tab you can see the short keys uh, button here and then we go to this wrench icon and here on the top you see uh, a command for advance to next tick now I've set this uh, shortcut for it control and the is the equals key uh, but you can set up uh, anything uh, you want uh, basically what this uh, um, hotkey does is whenever you have passed the game and if you press this hotkey then the game will advance by one tick. So let's uh, see that in action. I pause the game, and if I now uh, do this hotkey, I'm pressing it quite a few times now, and you can see the guest is now very slowly moving forwards. And every time I press this button, he advances by uh, one tick. And the reason we need this is because we want this guest to be in a very specific uh, frame. Okay, so um, he's uh, walking around now uh, like this. I've now paused the game, and what we want is we want this guest uh, to be in uh, yeah in a frame where it looks like he's just uh, putting this lemonade uh, bottle to his head. So let's see if we can get that to happen. So uh, yeah, this may take a while because uh, the guest also has other animations. But now I'm just uh, advancing the game forwards until I see him lift up his uh, lemonade. Okay, you can see him now uh, starting to lift his lemonade up. Um, may not be that obvious from this angle, it is obvious. And I believe this is the frame, that uh, the exact frame that we want. You can see it's starting to go, uh, the lemonade is starting to go uh, diagonal here. Uh, when it's at this frame, um, we go into the peep editor plugin again. And then we select the guest. And then we change his costume. To mechanic and there we have it now we have a hanging mechanic over here I'll just give him a different color uniform so it's more so it's easier to see um, what's important then is to uh, actually freeze him in place the game is paused now but if I unpause uh, the entertainer will resume whatever he was doing so I will freeze him you can do that with this button if I now unpause the game, you can see these guests are moving, but this ent this uh, entertainer in mechanic costume will stay in place. Now, um, you'll obviously want him to uh, to hang somewhere. Um, we don't want him to be on this path like like here. So, with this uh, plugin, we can also move the mechanic around. So, I will now just change his uh, his position a bit. You can change his X, Y, and Z position. And now I'm just moving him up, and now it actually looks like he's holding on to the side of this uh, stack of uh, blocks. Now, um, this sprite uh, actually does look the same from every angle, because it's the sprite that's normally used uh, when you're picking up a mechanic. So, uh, yeah, this this uh, looks the same from every angle, so that's why uh, this uh, sp hanging mechanic sprite also looks the same from uh, every angle. But yeah, um, you can use this uh, this uh, trick to uh, do some really fun stuff. 
I will show uh, a, a few examples uh, from my last two parks. So here we have my KT Streamland Park. Here I put a hanging mechanic uh, on the side of this uh, drop tower. You can see it's a slightly different frame from uh, the one that we just had. Um, so yeah, if you advance the game one tick further, then you can get uh, some a few different uh, frames that are also used for uh, when you're hovering a mechanic above the floor. And I also put one of these uh, on the Ferris wheel over here. Now, and the other example is, of course, uh, this mechanic here hanging on the side of uh, this building in Pokey Park. Anyway, um, yeah, that was it for this uh, tutorial. Hope it's useful for you. Uh, if you like this video, please consider giving it a like. It would really help out my channel. And let me know in the comments what you think of this uh, trick. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again in the next one. See you later.